Hello everybody, Anthony is here. In this series of short time lapses, I'll just talk over them and just explain what I've been doing here. So essentially, if you want a more in-depth study of uh, one particular sketch, I'll definitely go and check my previous video, previous upload. It was more about how I've done this. These are some of the sketches that I've done, which I've liked and recorded. And they are all compressed down from like three minute sketch down to one minute uh, time lapse right here. So they're really pretty short. And I've got about five of them, uh, not five, more than five uh, here. And uh, yeah, so here I'll just talk over about this, guys. So this is essentially, uh, I really like this really random nice looking fighter that I can really push further down the line if I wanted to and maybe one of those ships I'll try and, and there'll be a separate recording but obviously it'll be gonna be like a two hour you know, not like a two hour time lapse or five hour time lapse really so there's another one it's more like a Star Wars um, fighter Star Wars Imperial fighter and if, if, if it wasn't <clears throat> understandable from that particular angle you'll see it now so this particular shape so this particular shape thing which is more relevant for Star Wars right so and you can see that on the first pretty much few seconds I already established the whole shape and the whole form and then you just start adding more to that uh, and really it's that simple just to use a move tool and a couple brushes and push the stuff out so you can see on my right i have so many layers uh, i've done maybe i don't know 30 of them 40 of the ships uh, because they're quite a predictable and quite fun to make this and you, you end up with shapes that you wouldn't have ever come up with um, with a pen uh with any kind of planning so it's all a bunch of happy accidents all around that are quite cool and quite entertaining uh, to experience All right, just pushing some shapes out uh, on the beans. Obviously, this stuff is all super sketchy, and I think it would be great. Like directly, it would be great for some com comic book artists, uh, people who need some kind of 3D shape there that we could paint over quickly. Indirectly, it's great for any any inspiring. Um, conspirators. So this is a bigger ship. Uh, it's like a Lotus. Could come. It's made of two ships essentially. Like the back engine part is something else. Um, I like this one because it had a bit more refined look. And you see, I've just you know, I've drawn up a few shapes, and they already look like a spaceship. You know, it's all just design language, really. I will have later on couple shapes that were not made by just using a diamond or rectangular brush a square brush but mostly they all been done using the diamond or square brush and I just have this tendencies towards this particular designs uh, more like angular designs and I just just try to be as free as I can and just drag out the shape if I don't like it I just I can always undo it or I can always cut it out that's what I do repeatedly here. I was pretty happy with the front. I was just like, okay, I want to do some engine part. I kind of did the engine part. It looked alright, but then I also did the other shape, which I thought, okay, if I use on this particular brush, you see it's like a cobblestone um, alpha, you know, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, that you can use a cobblestone alpha for that and yeah I've done this uh, funny funny looking um, um, piece and just use it later as uh, my back piece for the bigger ship and I have here XYZ well not X and Y uh, symmetry on it's pretty important to have it on And again, like really more um, more information you can find on my previous video. So another guy, this one is was in quite interesting because it had a lot of thin shapes, like this kind of boxy um, designs, which I again found to be quite unusual. Um, 
like experimentally interesting. Uh, this one I probably uh, I have different videos sped up at different speed. This one is like four weeks. Uh, others are like at three weeks or two weeks. I was trying to put them under like um, a minute, a minute and a half for this video. And in the end, there will be a collection of renders that did not make it to these um, time lapses, and some of them haven't been just haven't even been recorded to be honest. All right, just again, playing the shapes, just free forming in all those axis space. I think actually it looked better with the longer on like front hull, and then I decided to cut it out, make it more like a fish. It's a fishy spaceship. Okay, another one. This one is because everything I've done was a bit more angular and rectangular. This is the ship was just uh, done using a different brush. You can see it's like the bottom brush. <laughs> yeah, just for a uh, circular bottom brush, and I'm using a bunch of uh, organics. So I wanted just um, to distance myself from angular stuff on purpose. And I made this kind of alien-looking blob that, again, uh, could be uh, good enough to s set a silhouette. And, yeah, it's just a different shape language than compared to all the square brushes they had before. I don't know why, but I use this like bronze metal material a lot for all of my creations. And this is uh, X Men shape, right? It's a big X at the top. Uh, this is using a roll brush. Yep. And the, all these brushes are just standard uh, 3D code brushes. I mean, just the way you like, the drag it out is just crazy, honestly. really don't think even with the advance of VR painting on blend or whatever what have you still this is pretty crazy way of creating stuff and I I don't know if there's any other software that can do that if there is one please tell me I'll be curious to explore it but I just haven't seen any other software doing anything like that okay this is another fighter that I really liked probably one of my favorite creations uh, because it had a lot of potential to be explored for the down the road I might take it and uh, do a proper maybe time lapse do a final model and yeah from the this first moves of the brush you already established something like okay I like that layering you know top panel bottom panel mid panel stuff and then you push 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 and you get stuff with all the like like gribbling and all that stuff in there it kind of tells a story okay there are a couple of renders that are just standalone renders so I like this huge shape like rendered in key shots so using the tune shader another one is like a broken apart shape is pretty cool uh, yeah kind of alien aggressive morphing shape another one is huge engines in the back so it looks kind of impressive uh, and another one, just top, interesting uh, design, a thin one, a long one. And this is the final one I wanted to show. Again, a rectangular, aggressive, and pretty cool looking. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.